welcome to English Lesson 43. Let's go ahead and get started. We are learning two new special sounds today. The first one is ch in church. So the ch sound, it doesn't say sh. Sometimes it does, but most of the time it says ch in church. Like chip and chocolate and chair. All of those have the ch sound. Look at my lips. Ch, ch. It's a little different, right, than the other sound, like sh in ship. That's sh like that. This is ch, like you took a bite out of something. Ch. So let's say it together. Ch in church, C H. Ch, ch, ch. Again, ch in church, C H. Ch. All right, next we have or in morning, or in morning, O-R, or, or, or. Okay, say it with me. Or in morning, O-R, or, or, or. Again, or in morning, O-R, or, or, or. So when you see that O-R together, it makes the or sound. Let's practice with finding those sounds in words. We're going to circle the special sounds and mark the vowels. Let's very quickly review our vowel rules. When you have one vowel in a word, it usually says it's short sound. We mark it with a smile. When you have two vowels in a word, the first one says it's long sound, and the second one is silent. Good job. All right, our first word is bench, bench. What special sounds do you see? If you said sh in church, you are correct. Do you see any others? No, how about our vowel? Is it long or is it short? Short, because we only have one, so we mark it with a smile. Now this is at the top of your page, page 43. Make sure you're following along so that you can do it with me. Your next word is porch. Porch. Do you see any special sounds? The first one I see is or in morning. Did you get that one? Or in morning, O-R. Are there any others? There is one more. Ch in church. How about our vowel? We don't have a vowel to mark because it's part of our special sound. Let's move on to our next word. Crunch. Crunch. Do you see any special sounds? I see a review one, one that we've learned woo, back in the past. Do you see it? Crook in crab. If you got that one, give yourself a pat on the back. Crook in crab, C-R. Do you see any more? I see ch in church, did you? And then our vowel, we only have one, so we mark it with a smile. The last one we're going to do together is north. What special sounds do you see? There's one new one and one review. Or in morning, very good. In thick, did you get that one? In thick? If you did, give yourself a big hug. Good job. In thick. Not in this, because it's not north. It's north. It's a softer sound. Okay, very good. Now you need to finish those on your own. So finish with sandwich and lord. Next, we have um, our grammar lesson for the day. Every sentence has two parts. Look at the blue box on page 43. 
Every sentence has two parts. The first part tells who or what the sentence is about. The second part tells us what happened. So the first part of our sentence tells us who or what is the main idea of this sentence. The second part tells us what happened. So let's look at two examples. These examples are also in your blue box in your book or on your paper. Our dog digs in the mud. Here's the first part of the sentence, our dog. That's telling us who the sentence is about. It's about the dog. What happened? What does the dog do? The dog digs in the mud. So that's the second part telling us what happened, what the first part does, okay? Ben's block tower tumbled down. Well, here's the first part of our sentence, Ben's block tower. That's what the sentence is about. It's about his block tower. Well, what happened with his block tower? It tumbled down. Say Kyle. He said, huh? So the first part tells us who or what the sentence is about. The second part tells us what happened or what that person or thing is doing. So let's practice. Number two says, finish the sentence. You need to, for the first two, write the part that tells who or what did something. So your first sentence, blank, surprised me. So who or what surprised you? Maybe you could say, my best friend surprised me, or my mom surprised me, or my grandpa that I had not seen in years surprised me. Something like that. You can use your imagination. Then the second sentence, something, or blank, came to visit us. So we know what happened, someone or something came to visit you. Now in the first part, you need to write who or what came to visit you. All right, our next two sentences, you need to write the part that tells what happened. So write the part that tells what happened. So it starts off with the dog. That's what the sentence is about, the dog. What did the dog do? Did the dog bury his bone in the backyard? Did the dog do a lot of tricks for a treat? Um, did the dog get into trouble? What about the dog? Use your imagination, be creative. And then the next one is roses. Roses, that's the floor, right? So you need to tell me what happened with the roses. Maybe you could even describe the roses. Roses are red. Roses grow in the summer. Roses are a beautiful flower. Anything like that. Then you can skip the dictation because we're gonna do dictation on the back today. Number one of your back page, page 44, says to circle the special sounds and mark the vowels. So you need to work on that. <clears throat> Follow the same procedures we always do. Check and see if you have two vowels. You need to mark you know, the long vowel and the silent, or if you have one vowel with a smile, check your special sounds, all of those things. All right, here's the dictation part. Number two, it says unscramble the words and write each sentence correctly. Remember what goes at the beginning and end of a sentence. So for each sentence, you have all the words, but they're jumbled up, they're mezclado. So I'm going to dictate what the sentence should be. And you need to write it on the line. So escribir la oración on the línea. Make sure you put a capital letter, a mayúscula, to start the sentence. So the first word of the oración needs a mayúscula. It doesn't have one in the words that are all jumbled up because they didn't want you to know which word comes first. Then remember at the end, you need to put a punto, put a period. All right, your first sentence. Bears love to eat fish. Bears love to eat fish. You can pause the video at any time. I'm going to read it twice and then move on. Bears are big animals. Bears are big animals. 
Moving on to our third sentence. They have short tails. They have short tails. Sentence four. Some bears are brown. Some bears are brown. And our last sentence. Baby bears are cubs. Baby bears are cubs. Okay, if you need to rewind, rewatch that. If you need any help, go ahead and do that. All right, exercise three says write one declarative sentence about bears. Remember, a declarative sentence just makes a statement. So just tell me something about bears. Number four says write one interrogative sentence about bears. So you need to write one pregunta about bears. Pregunta sobre osos. All right, that's it for today's paper. Let me know if you have any questions. See you later. Bye.